Hello friends, welcome back to Laravel 9 tutorial. We discussed already the basic topics in this playlist in this series. So in this video, we are actually going to go some deep. We are going to learn a middleware concept. So actually, what is the middleware? Why you need these and why many types of middleware? So all we'll discuss in this video with small small examples. So I will request you please see the full video to the end and comment when you got any problem, right? So what is middleware, right? So middleware provides a convenient mechanism for inspecting and filtering HTTP requests which are entering into your application, right? So as it is a web application, so here you can see this is the uh, web address. So when we just actually hit that URL means we are uh, hitting the HTTP request or we are calling the HTTP request. So actually these are inspecting uh, from the middleware or you can say uh, these are filtering from the middleware, right? So basically you can say it, uh, it acts like a bridge between a request and the reaction, okay? So for more simple, I can say, so uh, let's take an example. Basically Laravel includes middleware which verifies the users of your application is authenticated or not. Suppose you have an authentication system, so we have a login register like things. That time, middleware will check the users which is basically authenticated or not. So for that, we have a middleware folder. So inside our middleware folder, we can see. So let's start from the beginning. So app HTTP middleware. So we have the authentication middleware, right? So if the user is not logged in, that time it will directly goes to the login page. Otherwise, it will uh, go to the particular page which actually uh, will direct, which actually directed after login page, right? So this is the uh, basic concept of uh, middleware and of why we use that. So let's see some demonstration to clear it much better. This is the middleware folder. So you can see lots of things. There are authentication middleware and uh, there are the uh, encrypt cookies, uh, prevent request durations, reactive authenticated. There are lots of middleware actually by default Laravel provided. In this video, we will going to learn how we can create our custom middleware or how we can um, use that and how we can uh, use uh, multiple types or what are the types of middleware. Okay, so we will learn the core concept of middleware then we can discuss in our upcoming video or anything like so the first thing is if you want to create your own middleware so let's go to the terminal and it's very simple just like uh, creating controller we are using um, php artisan make controller so here we actually need to use php artisan make middleware right so we are going to create a middleware so there's a reason we need to create middleware. And suppose I am going to use this middleware uh, for some filtering purpose, right? So I just want to show you how it's working. So just write uh, check filtering or uh, the check middleware, okay? Check check uh, middleware, MDW, or write something. That is for your own purpose. So my middleware name is check MDW. So this is my middleware name. So as you have a middleware folder, so you can say that check MDW, okay? So this is the middleware and you can see uh, this is the class name already created and the namespace is app HTTP middleware, right? And here we can see we have function that is handle, okay? So actually in middleware, I always need to write uh, the handle function. So all the code or all the logics will implement in this section, right? So whenever you will get the next part, that means your request is proceed and you will go or you will process the next part. Okay, we will discuss it later. Okay, it is more deep things. So just uh, know that is uh, you are using your own middleware and suppose if I want to access that middleware or uh, if I want to use these things, so how we can we use this? So now i am just uh, going to write simple text suppose i am just writing echo and here write from middleware okay i just write some things and now if i just go here and refresh we'll get nothing okay so actually the server is stop uh, let's start the server 
and uh, here you can see so you will get nothing so these text are not coming because my middleware is created but it's not registered okay so that the reason we are not getting anything so according to the type of uh, registrations uh, we have a uh, three types of middleware that is the global middleware and a group level middleware and a route level media so keep a note and don't need to actually take a note and uh, here we can see when you just registering we have a three part that is a kernel.php so just go inside the app http we will get the kernel.php actually here we need to uh, um, include the middleware or register the middleware right so global middleware is key basically if i uh, declare any middleware globally that time we can uh, get the things in all of the all the places right so suppose if i just uh, go here uh, this is the global middleware declaration section right so we have a middleware the path is app std middleware and the check mdw so we have a correct path so let's copy from the previous sorry so let's copy from the previous and uh, just change the class name okay so we are uh, declaring a middleware as globally now if i just go to the browser and let's refresh so we are getting from middleware okay so not only this page so just go to the route and here this is the route and this is the web.php and suppose i am uh, i have a student list page right so if i just uh, go to that page suppose uh, let's go here student list so we are getting from middleware from here also right and if i uh, just check we have a different uh, uh, routes that is api.php so suppose uh, here you can see the all post okay so now just uh, go to this link i think you will get this also so 122.27 api as we are writing api and just all post so you will get these things okay so there is some problem maybe um there is some things so i just simply create uh, a route my own route suppose i'm just creating a closer function so simply route uh, i just write here uh, print text okay so print text from media actually so i don't need to write that much actually we are just going to show you uh, is it working for all middleware or not so simply uh, just uh, write in this way and here I just write in written this is demo okay now just uh, go to this URL and let's save sorry there may have a problem we have semicolon missing okay now just to go here and here you can see this is demo and from middleware actually coming from the middleware section okay so as we are registered our middleware globally that's the reason we can get our uh, access of that middleware from anywhere up application so inside your web inside your api so irrespective of all places we are getting access now the next word group level middleware okay so what is the group actually i just uh, cut it down and now i just uh, adding into the group level middleware that is a middleware group so here we can see we define that is the web middleware that is the api middleware right so now just add these things here and let's see so if i just add it inside the web middleware group so simply we will not get this middleware uh, text part from api so just refresh we are getting nothing now if i just go here and this is from web routes and refresh we are get not and refresh we are getting and still this is from the web.php so we will get that means if i just use our uh, if i just register our middleware in the Miller groups that time we can get access from that group from anywhere okay now it's simply if i just uh, write it here also so we can get from here right so simple so these are the part of uh, the 
group level middleware declaration. Now the last part is suppose this is my page and I want to get the middleware access from only the student list page not from the home page. So that time inside the routes we have a defined defined URL so I need defined defined um, middleware for defined routes that time how we can do this. So this is basically the route level middleware. So this is little different. Now I just uh, removing from the group level and I just registering into the route middleware part okay. So let's add this and we need to use the middleware individually for every actions or for every routes that time we need to uh, create a aliases so that we can call it um, very easily so simply just write check okay i think they are uh, have uh, no collision okay so this is the check so now how we can apply these things so to apply that things suppose i want to apply for this route only that time we can use in this way middleware my ddle middleware and name the middleware so here just write middleware check okay so this is the check i set it the aliases so now just go here and refresh so we'll not get these things because we have not applied this middleware in this route so we are not getting anything but we'll get here and if i still uh, just use that things into the api.php also so simply just write it down here and just to refresh we'll get that things okay so that means we can uh, access this um, type of middleware for individually where we actually need right so this is the basic concept of uh, middleware and next day we are going to discuss about on that topic in more or you can or we can learn about some authentication part so basically we'll learn the default authentication and step by step we will learn all the topics so still if you have any queries about this middleware concept or if you have any problem to understand these things so please comment in a below comment section right so thanks for watching this video have a good day bye